Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is uh, Dave from Apple Unlimited, and I got a really cool surprise today. Um, back in December, my, my boss was cleaning out his closet and found something. He said, well, I'm going to just throw it away unless you want it for your collection. I said, definitely, I definitely want it. So it's kind of like my Christmas bonus, sort of. Uh, this is a super old, like a so old Apple's upside down. <laughs> this is a MacBook. In fact, it's so old, it's called something different. I can't even remember what it's called. Um, I did kind of rummage through it a little bit and I wanted to do that again. So this is not going to be my, my first impressions, but I tried to forget as much as I could. So hopefully this will, um, sort of be like first impressions. It's called the PowerBook G4. And let's see how long it takes to power up. <laughs> This thing is old. Okay, so still powering up. Um, I wanted to kind of go through it because it's just so, it's so funny how it's so different. Um, but I wanted to show you the differences, compare it to today's standard, and kind of go from there. Um, so this is the PowerBook G4. Uh, everything on it works so far that, I, that I've tested. <laughs> Look at this. Okay. Uh, before we start, I want to compare uh, a couple things, actually. Um, when it's closed, the thickness to it is uh, similar to a Mac Mini, right? It's not as big, but it's close. <laughs> Which is hilarious for our laptop. Um, <clears throat> of course, this is an Air, so this is super small. And this is my my main uh, MacBook Pro, 2012. So you can see the size difference right there. Um, just wanted to point that out real fast. This video is going to be kind of just all over the place tonight. Okay. And in fact, you can't even just open it. You have to push the button to open it. <clears throat> Which I'm glad that's changed. <laughs> glad that's changed for sure. First things first, I'm going to go ahead and increase the brightness if I can. This thing is dark looking. <laughs> oh, wow. System preferences looks totally different and you can't even click on the mouse pad you have to click the button below it too which is going to be hard to get used to doing that <laughs> okay we have a brightness here oh it is all the way up Wow, it might look bright in the camera, but it's not comparatively. Um, okay, so I guess we'll just, I guess we'll just go with that for now. Um, <laughs> okay, so first things first, let's go to about this Mac. And this is going to be, wow, look at that, 10.4. Um, I don't even know what that is, 10.4. Let me look that up real quick. 10.4 is Tiger. So when I started, I started on Mountain Lion and went from there, of course, to Mavericks, Yosemite, El Capitan, Sierra, High Sierra. And my main machine's about to hit Mojave. Uh, I'm waiting on one more update first before I do that. Um, but let's compare the rest of the specs. So right now the processor is uh, 1.5 gigahertz, and this is my most current Mac, is my iMac, and that is um, 4 gigahertz, the Intel Core i7. While we're at it, the RAM is 32 gigs, 1867 millihertz DDR3, and this memory half a gig DDR SD RAM 
half a gig of RAM. That is ridiculous. Um, <laughs> that's really bad. Um, well, it does have it does have the time on it. That's good. That's a good thing. Oh, I was wrong. The hard drive is 75 gigs. So there you have it. 75 gigs. Um, God, this thing is so not bright. It's, it's crazy. It's driving me crazy. So I actually went to uh, the Atlanta Institute of Music twice. Once for guitar, once for recording. And both times I went, my favorite teacher, uh, Randy, he was there both times. Uh, and then after I left, he left. Um, he also worked where I work, but before me. And what's real funny is um, on this computer, I found some of his old songs and stuff in there. <laughs> so he used this, and now it's mine, and he has no idea about it, which is, which is funny. Um, just wanted to mention that. Um, let's try getting on the internet, because I know it won't. <laughs> I know it's that old, it won't even get on the internet. But let's try it just for fun, shall we? Safari looks somewhat similar. Go ahead and see if that launches. It's gonna bring us to the Wi-Fi page, all right? Ooh, it might connect. Um, so I tried hooking up the internet at work the other day and it asked for the phone number. <laughs> like dial up modem. We'll see. This works. Look how slow it is. This is probably like state of the art back then. Live page dot apple. <laughs> this is so ancient. And it makes you wonder about <clears throat> people getting rid of their old computers. I'm sure some of them break. I'm sure some of them um, just get outdated and people just buy new ones. And then there are people that don't update ever and are still on ones like this. <laughs> it's just hard to imagine. This thing has changed so fast and look how long it took to load. <laughs> it's, it's comical. It really is. Okay. Um, so one thing I wanted to show you is, let's go ahead and hop on YouTube, shall we? YouTube.com. Sorry, I'm filming and typing at the same time. Oops, your browser is no longer supported. This thing is so old, it won't even get on YouTube at all. <laughs> Good old tiger, huh? Yep. Good old tiger. I would love to find a way to to get Mojave on this thing, just to see what would happen. There's got to be a way somehow. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it'd be funny to uh, to review this super ancient computer. Here's the keyboard. Some of it looks a little different. So I just wanted to show you that some of the icons are still named the same, just look totally, totally crazy. So I just wanted to review my PowerBook G4 for you, uh, running 10.4, which is Tiger. <laughs> just wanted to kind of show you what I got. Um, it's gonna be an awesome piece to my Apple collection, for sure. Um, especially the fact that it was free makes it even better. But, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe so you don't miss new videos. And we'll see you soon.